In this video, we're going to look at how to turn your box fan into an air filter. Let's get started. Let's take a look at what you'll need. First, you'll need a 20 by 20 inch box fan. Then, you'll need one FPR10 air filter. And as a secondary filter, you'll need either an FPR4 or an FPR7 air filter. And last, you'll need the STL file for a box fan 2 inch air filter holder. The link is in the description for that. Now, let's take a look at what the FPR ratings mean. So first, at FPR 10, the filter can protect from large particles such as household dust and lint and etc. And also small particles such as bacteria and mold spores as well as smoke and particles that carry any odor and things like that. Then lower, you have FPR 9 or 7 or 4. We're looking at either 7 or 4 for this, so 7 can protect from large particles and small particles like bacteria. And the same thing, FPR 4 protects well from large particles, but not as well for bacteria and mold spores. Here we have a comparison between the FPR ratings and other rating systems used in industry. First we have the MERV rating, which is the primary industry rating system. Then we have the MPR rating system, which is created by the company 3M. In this chart, you'll find equivalencies between each three ratings and their efficiency. For example, an FPR rating of 10 corresponds to a MERV rating of 13, or an MPR rating of 1500 to 1900. As you progress to higher ratings, You'll notice that each filter still retains the capability of the lower rated filter, but adds a new capability as well. You'll also notice that the higher rated filters have a longer change frequency. This means they have a longer lifetime than the lowest rated filter. Now let's look at how to 3D print the filter holder. So first, once you've downloaded the STL file, before you print, make sure the STL file fits the dimensions of your fan. I noticed that my STL file did not fit the dimensions of my fan, so I loaded it up in Tinkercad and modified it a little bit so that it would fit two filters correctly and also fit my fan. Once you've done that, you can load it up into your slicer, slice it with your preferred 3D printing settings, and print it. I used PLA filament because I knew it was a little flexible and I was able to bend it around to fit it snugly on my fan. So it's up to you what material you use, but I used PLA and that worked fine for me. Okay, now let's take a look at the final product. First you might notice that the filter holder at the top left is smaller than the rest. That's because of the placement of the settings knob on my fan, so I had to shrink it so I would be able to fit it. But once I shrunk the model, I was able to print it out and fit it perfectly on the fan. And you'll notice that I have the two filters back to back on the fan. You'll see I have the FPR10 filter behind the FPR7 filter, as in the middle of the FPR7 and the fan. That's because the FPR10 filter is more expensive and by putting it in the middle you're going to extend its life a little bit more by letting 7 do some of the heavy work in filtering out dust particles and things like that. As you can see in the picture, you'll want to print 4 different filter holders so you can put 2 of them on the top, 2 of them on the bottom to get proper stability for your filter so that they don't bend or break or anything like that. Then you can easily replace them by sliding them in and out through the side. And for some additional information about the filters, you'll want to put them on the back of the fan so that when your fan draws in air, the air passes through the filter and therefore gets purified. And additionally, if you notice there are gaps between your filter and the fan, you might want to consider blocking them with some tape or something like that so that you can increase the efficiency of the filters by not letting in impurities through other areas of the fan.